Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. To carry on with our female family members cards, today we're going to make an auntie card. Now I've seen these cards all over Pinterest and I've never made one. So I thought, oh well I'll make a dress for auntie. As my aunties are all old. <laughs> Not got many left. So yes, so today we're going to make this card. I've done it in retired papers. I'm also going to do it in retired papers because trying to find a pattern that looks like an old-fashioned dress. So um, I could only use retired papers. So that's what I've done. I don't know what paper this was out of, but the one I'm going to use today is from Paisley Patterns, I think it was called, I'm not sure. Petals and Paisley or Paisley and Petals, something like that. Whatever it was, it was papers that Gainer Voice gave me. So I am changing because I only had one of these. I'm having to change the colours on this one. So I'm using a rich raspberry a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and burnished. A piece of very vanilla at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I have picked this pattern for the dress and the collar will look like that so that is my dress for today I think it'll look nice the word auntie I've already cut out and stuck together cut three out and stuck them together um, I can't remember what company. Let me go to the dies and I'll show you them. Um, I need to look for them. I have a set of males and a set of females and I believe they're on right they come there's a rare female words so these are the dies that I've got here my husband bought me these actually I've seen them they were on sale told him about it and he actually went and got them for me and these are the male ones I've got Grandfather, son, Father's Day, Dad, Granddad. So yes, these are the male ones, grandson. I think they're quite nice, quite a nice size. So I've got them, well my husband got them from the range. Uh, last year? Year before? Can't remember. But I only use them when, obviously, when a member of the family has got a birthday. Yeah, so that is them dies. Oh, that die. Right, to get started, we will make our dress top. So with the um, paper, what I did, I folded it in half but just pinched the top just so I could see where the middle was there and then with a pair of scissors I cut a third of the way down about there just a third of the way down and then very gently fold your dress up and burnish 
and just fold it down, fold the corners away, trying to leave the same amount of room, or the same amount of space, should I say room. At the top, that looks quite nice. Right, you can either just put a dimension under there and have them sticking up a little bit, or you could glue them and have them flat. I am having them flat, so I shall just glue them down. This card is so quick to make. Don't know why I've never made one before. So there is my dress. Right, I'm not going to stick it down just yet, so I want to do my stamping first. Just in case I mess up, but I need to know where this goes. So with my black ink, put a lid on my glue. And I have got for a special auntie. So with the words for a special, I'm going to stamp that so small up there. And then we will stick the word auntie. Just there. Right, what else we need to stamp is the word happy birthday for her brooch. So I have got a tiny happy birthday out of wonderful moments. And there's a tiny one there, just there. So I'm just using that. Let's see if I can stamp that on there. Yeah. Uh, don't need that no more. And with the label punch, what I did is I punched with the happy birthday closest to the left hand and then oh, that's not very good stamp that again let's change the maybe because it wasn't on a long one and on a short one it didn't stamp very well so that's better. See to stamp it very well. Right, that's better. Now then, I put this back in there on the right hand side of it. We'll go in honest. Right, and I took it to the same space the other side. And I punched it again, and that shortened it. And got rid of the rubbish. Right, don't need that no more. What else do I need to make? Oh, a bow. I've got some ribbon here. 
as you all know with me and my ribbon. All right, pull my loop, wrap it round, tuck it in and pull and adjust. Don't need it too big, just a little posh bow for there. So, cut the tails. One's a bit long. Better. In, stop it unraveling and that is all our bits no we need some dimensionals on there let's put three Stick this on here. And pop it down. Stick our bow down. And we're going to stick the word Auntie just there. So all I did was pop little dots of glue on this I can feel it slipping out my hand right. and pop that there And then we want to pop it all on our card base. Should have put it on before I put them bits on. Never mind. Now we've got a card base on it, actually looks better. I was a bit worried then, I thought it was a bit too much. Put our little happy birthday, just there. It's a nice brooch, isn't it? <laughs> I tried to do a flower, but my happy birthday wouldn't cut out on a little flower, you know, to make a brooch, so I had to make a line. Could be a name tag. Right. Now we just need some gems. Oh, and some buttons. Right, to make the buttons, what I did was I got this half inch circle punch and punched two out. Then I got some clear gems that Stampin' Up! did the last year, the year before 
can't remember when, and stuck them in the middle. Can't go this one in the middle. That's it. And then we glued on her buttons. And now we've got to make the necklace. Now what I did, just to keep the chain the same, I did a line of glue and I'll just stick the gems on the glue. So, three of these ones down then I put one of these ones and three of these ones And another one of them. Do the same this side. Space for the second. Oh no, might not. And there's her gold chain. Gem on either side of happy birthday. And there we have it. Hope you like it. I got one in full party. Oh no, I haven't done insides. Oh, let's do the insides, right. Neither of them have got one inside, so we will stamp two. Let's celebrate you. So, please be straight. Upside down, but you're straight. Yeah. So. Another clue. Do the same. Oh, 
for this one. I must say these cards are quite different from what I normally do. But I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Saying that, this is a family card series I'm doing. So, um, yeah, I'm doing it through one every day for a week. So if you come back tomorrow, you'll see another one. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.